Hey everybody, are you ready? We finally got your vote and the vote was for the pancake pen. I'm gonna show you a few things about this. I have not tried it yet. Still got the price tag on it. <laughs> I got it on sale at Ross uh, for $5.99, but it usually runs about 10 bucks. But uh, you know me, always looking for a deal. Okay, before I do that, check this out. Uh, you know Empire Covers being my new sponsor for the show. Uh, I bought one of their covers. I told you I'd show you it. Here's my barbecue before I put the cover on. And then here's my barbecue with the cover on. A little wrinkled because it's brand new, just pulled it out of the wrapper. Uh, it's super thick. And then look at these clasps. These are really cool, these little clips. Better than that cheap Velcro stuff that most places use. This tightens the bottom so that it doesn't blow away. Anyway, so far I'm really excited, I love it. My barbecue is now ready for the rain, which is coming in a few days. So I'm good to go. All righty, let's do it. We're gonna make some, uh, some pancakes and I'm gonna try a few different things. I'm gonna try and write with it. Uh, I saw a video where somebody was doing the number one, the number two, sort of like somebody's birthday. You wanna make them a, you know, they're 12 years old, you wanna make them a, a 12 in pancakes. You could probably do it with this. So we're gonna try that. The other thing this is great for, which most people don't realize, is these. How many times have you seen me pour like batter into like the cupcake tray and um, like the Yorkshire pudding, remember that? Remember those? Yeah, those are, uh, this would be perfect for that because you gotta put it in right away. Boom, 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 boom. So if you're making cupcakes or any of that stuff, this is perfect and you don't get the burnt batter all around the perimeter. I love it. They claim that you can just make your pancake batter in this. So let's do this right now. Okay, so one thing I see wrong with this already is these markings, I can't even tell if you can see them. There are markings on here that are like extremely hard to read. You gotta turn them in the light perfectly to see them, but they do have uh, milliliters on one side and cups on the other. The other thing is you're supposed to turn this upside down to put the stuff in because that's the way the measurements are written. So there's one cup, two cups, three cups, whatever. I'm gonna be doing uh, two cups of, of the mixture okay i don't know see this doesn't even look right i mean it it's gonna be hard to pour in that little hole so maybe i won't do it that way maybe i'll put them in a measuring cup first and then i'll put them in that's what i'm gonna do okay so you can't really pour well into it you could but i'm gonna dump this powder everywhere so i'm gonna do a measuring cup first okay so there's one cup yeah this isn't cool this is kind of awkward because it just goes everywhere. Look, and what do I got to get a funnel? All right, well, that didn't work very well. Let's see if I can put the next cup pouring it straight in. Yeah, I got stuff all over me. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that does work a little better. All right, don't do my idea of the measuring cup. It looks like, remember I do all these things first time. So just pour it in slowly. All right, now we're gonna put in the water. And one and a half cups of water. So there we go. Close it up. And shake it around. I really want this to work, by the way. And the beauty is you can make this at the beginning of the week and you can just do one or two pancakes for the kids and then throw it back in the fridge. I think we're good. What's weird is, I wanna make sure we got, whoop, just built up pressure. Just pop the top. All right, first we're gonna spray or butter our pan. I'm going to just do simple pancakes first. Oh look, it doesn't come out until you squeeze it. All right, you're gonna have to squeeze it a little bit. Whoop. Oh, that came out a lot. That looks awfully runny. Maybe it's not mixed up enough. I did just what the box said. One and a half cups of... Uh... I 
I just feel like it hasn't gotten all the batter in there. So we'll keep trying it. Okay. Flip this one over. There we go. Well, they look good. I'll lower my flame just a little bit. Okay, I'm kind of wondering why it's so runny. I can't control it, but let me show you why. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've got, see the chunk in there? Look, it's not even mixing. And you see this right in here? It's, co it's caked on in the sides. That's why my batter is so thin. Okay, here's part two of our test. I've made a new batch separately and it looks much better. And now I'm gonna pour it into the pancake pan and see if that works better. Okay, now I perfectly made the batter. It's poured in here. Now let's see how this works. If I can get a, if I can do what I wanna do. I wanna do the shape of uh, a heart or something. So let's see, see it's just, it's too runny. Maybe I can do a, a heart. Well, we'll see. That's what the recipe calls for. Then let's do a number. One. Ugh, it's too freaking runny. Okay, so let's give it a try. This is all fresh new batter that I mixed uh, separately in the bowl that I showed you. So we're gonna give it a try now. Let's see how it pours. It's a little bit thicker. Okay, let's see if I can write with it. Doesn't write real well. Try number two. Oh, yeah, see, it's still too runny. I don't get that. I have no control over this thing at all. And it's what the, uh, uh, so it does a pancake fine, but, but it doesn't let you write with it like you wanted to. Okay, well, I'm a little bummed. This would be amazing to do like cupcake trays, but uh, I have to tell you, number one, not being able to shake it because it shoots out the top because pressure builds up. They say you can mix in this. Even with the cap, it was squirting under the cap all over. Number two, you couldn't get all, all of it mixed at all. I had clumps in here. I had to mix it separately. So this is just like a pouring spout, which really becomes kind of useless. So I'm gonna say don't get this unless you're gonna use it for like pouring in muffins. You do a lot of muffin work uh, or you do uh, Yorkshire pudding. Uh, other than that, this is not worth, worth even the $5.99 that I paid for it. So, um, that's too bad. I really was hoping that would work. All right, coming up soon, you guys really wanted the blender too. It was really close. Uh, this one won on the comments, but uh, we're gonna do the blender because this is a pretty high-tech blender and it, we're coming up into Christmas time, so you guys may need some ideas. So that's coming up soon. You guys take care and I'll see you on the next episode.